SGD Tech Blazer Awards celebrates those who champion the spirit of innovation. Here are the stories of our finalists. So with Safe Entry, we are actually very happy that we are able to give citizens back some semblance of life. They are once again able to go out, but most importantly, businesses are able to reopen. So GovTech, we decided that there has to be a better way. So we came up with a digital solution. The problem is um, actually there are a lot of different kinds of uh, medication packaging. So if there are picking errors or dispensing errors, um, it is dangerous because you're talking about medications. We decided to come up with a solution with IHIS such that we can uh, make use of automation to be able to cater for the repackaging of these medications without having different kind of commercially available uh, machines. So in our elderly population, when a person has fall, it can have a severe impact. So, so now the, 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 the technology that we are using is machine learning. Yes. Right, machine learning. So now we use this technology to detect patient falls. In a way, this patient safety is if we can prevent a fall, let's say with a major injury, so we can so far save on the cost of treating that major injury. We have seen quite a, quite a bit of change yeah, from the from the start of the resistance. We are, we are grateful that they, they are able to take the next step to be able to you know, use the robotics as uh, it is and use it as part of their, their daily operations. Healthcare is always very complex. Yes, traditionally we're not trained for this. Professionally, we're not trained to be the innovator. However, in our day-to-day -day, uh, course of uh, life and duties and practice, we have learned that we cannot just rely on the traditional ways of uh, doing things and we depend on technology. We are just a team of public officers that are really passionate about technology and we actually strive to use tech for public good.